and you have to know a little bit about Nick Cannon's past with uh, how he was taken off NBC and basically it was how he made it sound out in like when TMZ covered it was that they didn't like him wearing the turban and that he was acting too black I guess is what he was telling everybody but of course over here it says that where is it I just saw it a second ago oh right here Net Cannon nearly fired by NBC over black card joke TMZ uh, quits after NBC put him on blast. So he comes over here, he said, during the aftermath of s some of our questioning the length of the sentence, even whether the fallen actor is guilty at all. One of the public figures voicing his opinion is Nick Cannon. The actor posted a video of worse crimes and haven't yet been punished. Cannon claims racist racism is the cause. Unfortunately, Unofficially titled Why Bill. Cannon repeats the phrase throughout the spoken word video towards the end he defends Cosby. And this, I don't want to play it because I don't think I can play it. And also, he's cussing a lot in it. Right there. Um, let's see where it's at. Make us go broke, stay in your place. And when you brag about the, yeah, let's see all this. If I click on it, I'll go right to it. Maybe I should just focus on my degree, even though my quest for profess and teach is reprimanding this generation, but warning us that regardless of our income and, a, and job occupations, occupation, the system will s still forsake us, take us for a joke, make us go broke, stay in your place, and when you brag about the black man being, that's crazy. It was just a different kind of move. Can I include the full lyrics in the description to accommodate the video? What do you think? Does Nick Cannon have a point? Let us know in the comments section below. But there's a lot of sites that, actually I have it down here in the bottom. I went over all this already and it just didn't process correctly. He's getting new boots and chocolate pudding, of course, they put in there. The prison will accommodate his age and health issues. He could be released in three years. He intends to appeal. He still faces several civil lawsuits, what will which will probably make him if he ever if he does survive going through this ordeal, he'll probably be broke when he comes out. And this is a guy that had three hundred million dollars. His legacy is forever tarnished. Roles such as I Spy and The Cosby Show has largely been erased from public eye in the past few years. Reruns of The Cosby Show, along a staple of cable TV, were taken off the airways as accusations piled up. Now are only on, only available on Amazon Prime TV. Universities that grant him honorary degrees have rescinded them including Notre Dame, Yale, Temple University where Cosby sat on the board of direct board of trustees for 32 years until his resignation in 2014. Resigned or rescinded his honorary degree after his conviction. In a column for CNN, film critic wrote that Cosby's conviction in the April, uh, April was the final blow to the battered reputation, reputation of an American icon. One of the most, I can't even say that word, beloved entertainers of the last century will be known for the rest of his life as, a, life as a sexual predator, he wrote. And for many of us, it may take the rest of our lives to unpack the ramifications. 
So how does Cosby feel? The, un the entertainer toured as recently as 2015 said in a TV interview before his 2017 mistrial that he would like to eventually return to doing comedy, which he did do. I want to get back to laugh, laughter and enjoyment of things that I've written and things that I have performed on stage. I know that I know the side that I'm on and the side that I'm hoping for. And after that, there's more work to be done, he added. But I still feel that I, I have an awful lot to offer in terms of my writing, in terms of my performances, my performance. this and actually I re every one of these I actually read through the whole article on the video and it was like 35 minutes long it's a really good article right here and I mean like they said it's time travel this is written three years ago and I'll put this in the description but Basically, he was going to, he wasn't putting much money up of his own, and he was going to, William, well, his agent that passed away since then, I guess, uh, broke him, broke him, uh, CEO of William Morris Agency, and he, he'd been Cosby's personal agent for 30 years, was saying that he was going out and getting, going to, what is it called? Goldman Sachs and uh, trying to get uh, banks to give him money but he had 300 million dollars at that time and at the time the asking price for NBC was expected to be roughly four billion dollars but up here it says neither of the men would tell the public how much Cosby was prepared to offer the network, but such a deal surely would have been in the billions. When Comcast purchased NBC Universal in 2009, a 51% stake was valued at 6.5 billion, making the total price purchase purchase price above 13 billion dollars. At the time, the asking price for NBC was expected to be roughly 4 billion. Bill has, has very warm feelings about NBC, he said. He got his big break there almost 30 years ago, an I Spy. Then he had the most financially successful show of all time there in, in the 1980s. So, I think a lot of these people that, you know, take their, they don't take the money, like, uh, the money right then they take uh, they get money from their royalties and a lot of actors just want the money right then they don't want to have it when it goes into syndication and I read somewhere that he had like 75% of his uh, money from that show were to be uh, I spell this wrong Malcolm Jamal Warner, Cosby's case, literally taking money out of my pocket. And this was in 2016. Bill Cosby of legal woes are costing Malcolm Jamal Warner money. Because Cosby show reruns were yanked amid allegations and then charges of sexual assault. It literally, It's literally taking money out of my pocket. During a visit to the real airing, it's personally affecting me. I uh, want to stress that he was not in a position to defend his former TV dad, but noted that noted what he called the unbalance of ramifications of Cosby's trouble compared to other high-profile cases. You just look at how the media is playing this whole thing out. And I can't help but think about Woody Allen, 
Roman Polanski, and Stephen Collins. Roman Polanski. A little sketch. Not a little sketchy. He did something and he got away with it. Because he moved. Overseas. Allen's adopted daughter, Dylan Farrow, accused him of molestation. Molesting her when she was a child in the in an open letter published by the New York Times, he has never been prosecuted and has steadfastly denied any wrongdoing. Polanski pled guilty to sex with a minor in 1978, but fled the country. He accepted a 2002 Oscar absentee since he remain, remains a wanted man in the United States. The 13-year-old victim's, t victim's testimony that the 43-year-old Polanski as a sexual predator who used deception or deceit drugs and adult philosophy uh, I can't say it to lure his victims into sex this is hard to read seventh heaven actor Collins revealed to People Magazine in 2014 that he had an inappropriate sexual conduct, contact with three female minors that occurred from 1973 to 1994. Due to the statute stand, uh, of limitations, he did not face prosecution. There's no, there's no one that you know. You know what it is, gym class heroes. Can dream. It's hard to look innocent when I got cookie crumbs all over my face and shit. <laughs> you know? I like it.